one of the more sad news in hip hop, man, is Rich Homie Quan died from an overdose of fentanyl. And, you know, this fentanyl thing has just been killing people left and right, you know. It's just, it's been crazy, man. All the people that have died from fentanyl. I, I damn near think everybody knows somebody who has died from fentanyl at this point. Because so sure. many people sure. are dying every year, man. You know, what were your thoughts on uh, the Rich Homie Quan situation? I felt bad for Rich Homie Quan because I had seen him in an interview, I believe it was a Math Hoffa, and he was talking about how career decline affected him and stuff like that. So once his name was getting mentioned in the YSL trial, I know he's seen those streams go up. I know he's seen promoters start to reach out. I know he got excited. He said, you know what? I'm going to get lit tonight. I'm going to boot up. And I'm going to go in the studio. I'm going to make some new hits, drop some new music for my fans. And he didn't make it to the studio, bro. I know that's what happened. You know, he wanted to go in his creative zone, take his kit, whatever that is. You know, he 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 partook in his activity. They say he was on the couch fully dressed. He laid down and didn't wake up. I know that's what happened. Unfortunate. Man. You know, with all this drug use and hip-hop and everything, man, you know, I mean, how much of it did you actually, you know, how bad was it, you know, from your point of view? Because, you know, you're the bodyguard. I know, you know what I'm saying, drug use is crazy. <laughs> I'll say this. I've been to parties where there's plates of cocaine floating around. There are bottles. There, there are jars of ecstasy pills floating around. And you don't got to pay for it. So if you somebody coming to some of these events, you experiencing this for the first time, you get hooked on it, and then you want to chase that feeling again. But you don't got a team that's going to hit this with the test kit to make sure it turned black so I know it will turn pink so we know what the substance is. So now you got to go find this on your own. And then you're going into a predatory environment where somebody's trying to pay their light bill. You from the, they don't have real Percocet. You're getting Fent pills. You're probably going to die from this. Uh, it's just how the world is going right now, bro. That's how the world is going right now. I mean, at this point, if you're taking drugs, you're gambling with your life. <laughs> For sure. For sure. For sure. It's, it's like Russian roulette every time you pop a pill or sniff a line. That's why Future say in this song he take his drugs in doses. Period. If you not taking proper precaution and you just gonna jump out there, you playing with your life, man. You gotta test stuff out. You gotta see what's really going on with it, man. Amazon got a test kit, 20 bucks. Be in your house in two days. I travel with one. Cause I just never know. I might get a client who like to party. I'm not going to take the chance of you dying on my watch because I'm going to be the first person getting investigated. I don't want to sit down in the homicide room for 72 hours. So situational awareness will save you from a lot of things. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.